So you have already watched the random promo video in the intro of this tutorial. Today I'll show you how to create this promo video using AE Juice inside Premiere Pro. Hi AE Juice. Well, video editing is always time consuming and creating motion graphics, effects and transition can take a lot of time. The good news is AEJU's products are designed to help you do more in less time so you can spend less time in front of the screens. AEJU's offers over 70 packages including seamless transitions, title animations, film textures, cyberpunk HUD, YouTube packs, shape elements and more. With these packages, the possibilities are endless and you can use the tools and effects to transform any footage and make it truly eye-catching. If you are looking for a great deal on motion graphics and video editing tools, check out AEJU's I Want It All Bundle Lifetime. It's currently available at a 90% discount, making it an amazing value for your money. You can also try out AEJU's free plugins, which I have included links in the description of this video. This will give you easy access to AEJU's website where you can explore their bundles, including the I Want It All Bundle Lifetime. To make the promo video, we have to follow several steps, starting by adding audio markers as the first step. Inside Prima Pro, we have an audio clip on the timeline and several video clips in the project. First, we will listen to audio clip and based on that, we will set markers with the music beats to accurately place video clips on the timeline. To make the things easier, let's change the audio waveform. Click on three short lines and select rectified audio waveform to easily identify music beats and set markers. We now need to lock the audio track so that we can only add markers on the timeline. Let's play the audio to identify the beats and set markers by hitting the M key on the keyboard. Once we have found next beat, we can add marker. Following this process, we can complete the rest of the work. Our second step is to cut and place the video clips onto the timeline. So double click on the video to open it in the source monitor that you wanna place on the timeline. Find the best starting part of the video and then hit the I key to create an in point. Move the time indicator to the right and hit the O key on the keyboard to create an out point. Finally, drag this video and place it on the timeline. If any adjustments are required like changing the duration of the video to following the audio markers then please do it. Next, choose the second video clip that fits with the first clip. Make it an in point and out point and place it on the timeline. Then adjust its duration following the audio markers. Using this very easy and simple method, you can complete the basic video editing tasks and make your footage more interesting and eye-catching. Now we can preview the entire sequence. Now it's time for the transitions, effects and title animations. To make the process easier and faster, we will take full advantage of AEJU's plugins. Make sure you have already downloaded AEJU's plugins. Once installed, you can access plugins at the top of the window menu under extensions. After getting the AE Pack Manager 4, you need to log into your AEJU's account. Here you can see other options such as checking for updates, tutorials and refreshing purchases. Now let's go to the free options where you can see all the packs that are free for you. If you click on the purchase options, you can view all the packs you have bought. You can purchase all of them at a 90% discount using the link provided in the description. To download a pack from the cloud, simply click on its title. Before downloading, I recommend that you choose a download folder if you don't wanna use the system drive. So go to the account settings and choose your desired folder as I have already done. After that, click on the packs title to start the download. You can preview any pack by hovering your mouse cursor over it. I just preview the old film pack followed by neon analog glitch and light leaks. Seamless transitions are one of the most popular transitions used in video editing. Travel filmmakers like Sam Corder, JR Ali often use these transitions. When you click on the seamless transition pack, 
it will open up a range of different presets. On the left, the categories are neatly organized for you. The number on the right of each folder or category indicates the number of presets available within. If you want to filter your favorite transition presets, simply click on the filter options at the bottom right of the tab. Let's find the zoom in presets by clicking in. Now we need to enable Essential Graphics by going to the window menu because we have to duck the Pack Manager tab for better editing layout. Let's try the fastest way to find the zoom in transition by typing zoom in in the search box. On important note is that some transition regards selecting two video clips on the timeline before applying the transitions. So we can select the desired clip on the timeline where we wanna apply the transition. Then double click on the transition you want and it will take a few seconds to download from the cloud. You can now see our transition on the timeline but it doesn't work yet. It's a MOGART which stands for Motion Graphics Template. We have to replace the video or picture inside the MOGART to make it work. So first I wanna adjust its duration because I only want the transition area. Hit the C key to get the razor tool and make a cut. Then go back to the selection tool by hitting the V key on the keyboard. And delete the extra portion you won't use. You may notice that this transition has its own sound effect. Now make sure the transition is selected, then go to the essential graphics tab. In the editing options, here is the mogart placeholder to replace your footage. Let's navigate to the project where you find the AEJuice folder, which is created automatically when you download any transition. Now we have to get into this folder and change it to a list view. Inside this folder, you find the target zoom simple scale sequence, which was created by AEJuice when we applied this transition. Now drag and drop this sequence into the placeholder and our transition starts working. It looks really eye-catching and is a time saver for video editing. Let's move on to the burning transitions, which can add an amusing visual effects to your footage. So first, click on the burning transitions pack and browse its 6 categories. Burning film transitions, burning paper transitions, luma matte burning transitions and more. You can easily browse or scroll through the options to find the perfect transitions for your video clips. After you have chosen your desired transition, remember to select two video clips on the timeline, as this particular transition requires two clips to be selected. After that, double click on the transition to download it and apply it. Since it's a mogart, so a few adjustments will be needed in the essential graphics tab. Select the transition and navigate to the essential graphics tab, where you see placeholders 2 and 1. Now go to the AE Juice folder. When you enter the AE Juice folder, you will see two different sequences for the burning transition. One burning film transition and two burning film transition. Now grab the one burning film transition sequence and place it on the placeholder one in the essential graphics panel. Do the same thing for the two burning film transition sequence but place it on placeholder two and it's done. Just apply the transitions and place your footage. Your transition is ready. Manual creation of such a transition can be time consuming, but with these mogers templates, you can save a lot of time and effort. Next, I'll try using film textures to give my video a retro style. Let's go to the film textures pack. This pack contains 6 categories of film textures, each with numerous overlays. I wanna use this one, so let's drag it to the timeline. There are 4 film overlays, but I don't need the last 2 overlays, so let's delete them. I'll adjust the duration of the second overlay by cutting and removing it. Now I wanna create a slide transition. Let's go to the products and find the slider pack. Once you have found it, just click on it. I wanna use the film strap and this one is ok. To place it on the timeline, just double click on it to download from the cloud. And then it will be placed at the time indicator position. Next, let's reposition the film strap layer and adjust its duration. When everything is done, make sure the mogart layer is selected. Finally, go to the essential graphics. To place a video, we need to go to the footage folder. Select the footage from the project and move it over to the placeholder. Finally, just drag this layer under the film textures. This way, we can create retro films. The cyberpunk HUD effects is commonly used in action, science fiction, video games and music videos to create a high tech and futuristic atmosphere. I wanna apply the cyberpunk to this footage because it's perfect for the cyberpunk theme. Let's open the cyberpunk HUD pack by clicking on it. Scroll down and select the best one for your footage. In my case, I selected this one. And the duration of this cyberpunk overlay is too long for my footage. 
so I need to adjust it for better suit my needs. I can hit the C key to get the razor tool to make a cut and the V key to get back to the selection tool. Then I can delete the extra portion that I don't need. Now I need to drag the cyberpunk overlay down to the second layer over to the footage. It's time to adjust the settings a little bit in the effect controls to make it work. With the layer highlighted, move over to the effect controls and change the blend mode to find the best tone for the cyberpunk layer. In the last part of this tutorial, we are gonna learn how to use animated titles from the AE Juice title packs. The title packs include titles, creative titles, and neon titles. Let's click on this title pack and browse through the different animated titles. For this promo tutorial, I'll choose this one and double click on it to input it into the timeline. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the title by selecting it and going to the essential graphics. Here we can see title 3 design week. I'll change it to your video and then you see the change on the program monitor. We also change international which is text 2. We can select the text on in the essential graphics to enable typing mode and change it to make. Now let's change title 1 to stand out. After editing the title, we have created the final result. Make your video stand out. If you want, you can change the color of the title. You can select the color options in the essential graphics and pick the color you want. For example, let's change the blue color to white. This allows us to customize the title color to our preference. Finally, we will adjust the duration of the animation title layer, keeping only the starting animation of the title. Creating title animations manually can be time consuming, pre-made pack like this make it easier for video editors. I believe the ideas from this tutorial combined with your creativity can help you to create best video promos, intros, outros or whatever you wanna make. Since it's already been a quite long tutorial so I don't wanna keep you any longer. You can check out the free or paid versions of AJUICE plugins by clicking the links in the description below. Thank you for watching till now, I'll see you in the next video.